You're working just to get by. You're working, there's people on day to day, week to week, month to month. I know all three of those columns and now I do know financial freedom. Do not get used to guys in the zone you're in. If you're month to month, you're just getting by, you have an extra thousand dollars a month, you're settling, you're accepting that. If you're not making enough money, you need to look at the situation. First, look at yourself. This is exactly what I did. I looked at myself, okay, I am the, the reason. Okay, and that's what happened. Instead of quitting my job, I got a second job. A lot of you, all these ego dudes, you know, they have one job, they get home at six o'clock, they don't do anything. They, they're not even so humble as I was that I became a waiter, man. But how dare you tell me that, Bobby? That's terrible advice. You're not ready, man. I was a waiter having a sales job in the day, waiter at night. There's people that refuse to be an Uber driver, be, become a waiter at, at night. How the hell are you gonna do it? If you're not willing to do that, and you wanna go in partnership with other people, how dare you claim and justify that bull crap? If you're struggling, you have kids at home, and you wanna start investing, whatever the theme is, and, 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 and you're working during the day, you get home, a couple hours later, you can't put another uniform or another set of clothes on to do something else. If you're refusing to do that, you're not gonna make it. You will continue being the same spot you're in today, my brother, my sister, five years later. That's what it takes. You have to check up on your behavior. What are you willing to do to get out of the jam? Am I real willing to resign, look for a better job, get a second job? See, you get 2X your income just on a, a decision right now today. Get a second job. Most of you that listen to this video have one freaking job and you're complaining about the money, you're complaining about the company, they suck without them, without me, that company's nothing. We all go down these rabbit holes and now we create this routine, it's called misery. And guess what, misery loves company. You find someone else who's misery because they're talking the same crap with you and now you're even buying in more and then now there's five of you, six of you, now your whole ecosystem. Now you have all your friends and family who's miserable and all of you together, it's like a crab bucket. Go to YouTube, you put 10 crabs in a bucket, one always tries to get out, the nine pulls them down, then another one tries to get out, the one that was pulled down is even pulling that one down. No one ever gets out of the bucket, guys. I think, I, I think there's something out there. For me, I don't agree with it. A lot of people will say, do what you love. Do what you love, Bobby. Just do what you love, man. Everything else will work out. That's a beautiful thing to say, and it sounds so warm, so loving, so inviting. But the reality is, to me, that's a lie. See, if you wanna become financially successful and you wanna leave a legacy, you wanna put your children in, 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 in better schools, whatever, maybe break the curse in your family, like I'm attempting to do, that so my next generation can do it differently, and then 100 years later, you gotta do what you don't like. You gotta do what you don't love. Do you honestly think I loved working two jobs? Do you really think, honestly, and I love playing golf? Can't make a living playing golf. I can't make a lot of money playing golf. It's just the reality of it. So what the, what I decided to do, well, I'm gonna wait for that when the fruits bear itself to me. Now, with the financial freedom, I'm 57 years old, and you don't, have, you don't have to be 57 to reach financial freedom. That's why I'm here trying to help people, maybe you, so that you could do it quicker than I did. Now I do everything I love on my time. When and how and with whom. That's freedom. I have resources. I have options. I have generational wealth. Do you understand that? You have to earn that. Then it comes to a time you do what you love you, on your time. But right now, you're not in that zone. You're lying to you. If you're 50 years old, maybe 57, maybe 60, maybe 35 years old, what the hell are you doing working one job? What are you doing still if you're still stuck in the same place three years ago and then today? The problem is you, man. You're doing it all wrong. You're doing it all wrong. You're your worst enemy, but yet you can be your best friend if you become accountable transparent with yourself. And the only way that's gonna happen based on my personal experience, when you disconnect from 99% of the people for a moment, not your kids, not your wife, you know what I'm talking about. All your buddies, all your sisters, all, because you need some time, man, to get very truthful with yourself. I was bullcrapping myself half of my life. I wasted it until I became transparent. When you become transparent, you start disconnecting from what I call distractions. Distractions from preventing you to scale to that next great body, that next great thing start seeing these bright, out, bright outcomes. You're not seeing nothing because you're not changing. You're expecting different positive, magical outcomes, doing the same thing, hanging out with the same people, same routine, surfing social media like some crackhead, going down Wonderland on the internet, Netflix, video games, whatever it is, and that's totally cool. 
but don't complain five years from now. Don't complain next year. See, you have to invest your time so you can get a return on that time and it doesn't happen overnight. That's why people are frustrated. That's why they're always looking for the quick fix. Doesn't happen, man. I waited so many years and wasted so many years. It's very important here, guys. Scarcity, scarcity. And I'm very bad. I can't even speak Spanish. I can barely speak English, man. That's what I'm saying. Success, anybody can do this if you have a lot of obsession. It's from thinking that there's very limited amount of opportunity or money and they're just protecting everything. And what happens is they start bleeding out something called risk tolerance. They, 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 they don't take risk because they have smothered themselves to say, this $10,000 is, is, is everything, it's all in the world. And they hang on to the 10, they hang on to the 10 or they wanna buy a home, 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 home. And they're just like, I am telling you, you will never scale in life. I am telling you, you're cheating yourself. There's an abundance of money. There's an abundance of opportunities. You could put me in any city, give me a bus ticket. I get off that bus in 90 days, I have a business. Because I understand and I am convinced and I am sold there's an abundance of opportunity out there. There's 400 million of us walking around this country. There's so much opportunity that a blind person can hit it. See, I believe that. But if you don't really buy into what I'm saying, you have an issue. You have a fixed mindset. You don't believe it. That's why you're not risk tolerance. That's why if you take a risk and it doesn't work out, I'll never do that again. And then you go around hanging out with people. Oh, I'll never get into real estate again. Oh, I'll never open a business. Oh, don't. Why? Because someone failed at it or because you failed at it? That's the treasure. When you fail, you have a lesson. The odds to succeed the next time increases. And it even increases even more as you continue to fail forward. So powerful, guys. But yet, you don't buy into it yet. You're probably not. Yeah, that guy knows what he's talking about. That guy, no, yeah, okay, yeah. He, but you'll revert. You'll revert in literally three minutes. You'll take someone's text and talk about Trump, talk about whatever and gossip and go down this rabbit hole and burn your minutes. Now you're back on the crack.